Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. 740 is your time now. Tomorrow at the University Medical Center Brackenridge, Austin CyberKnife will open and start treating tumors and cancer patients. Austin CyberKnife is a remarkable cancer treatment tool. It can kill cancer cells and allow the patient to immediately walk out and get back to normal activities. There are no incisions, no anesthesia, and minimal side effects. It uses missile guidance technology to attack tumors with radiation from different angles, so precisely healthy tissue and be can be undamaged with us today to talk about this procedure is Dr. Douglas Rivera with the med he's the medical director for Austin CyberKnife. Thank you for being here this Thanks morning. For having us. Well, explain exactly what this is. It's so new and it may be a new term to many people, but a very exciting term. It is. So what the CyberKnife is, is a specialized radiation machine. It does uh, this by using robotic technology. Um, that really directs radiation in various different areas around the patient can be below them or above them or to the side of them. And because of that mobility and this very pinpoint accurate uh, type of radiation delivery system, uh, really you can expect to have submillimeter accuracy. Well, now the previous procedures like radiation and chemotherapy, were those not working very well to give, I guess, new life to this? technology? Right. Um, they, they work very well and they've been advanced a lot, but this is just another kind of adjunct to all those different things that we use that's even more specialized. And when I say it's very specialized, it really only treats you know, you know, one treatment upwards of maximum of five treatments. And so this machine in particular just focused to um, very small, definable areas that we can treat um, in a highly targeted way. Now, traditional radiation is something which I also do, but um, in those type of machines, those tend to be a little bit less well targeted, and in general, um, those machines are not dedicated like this. So they, these things generally are used to treat patients with you know, five treatments or even upwards of 45 days of treatment, where yeah. this is a very kind of focused and, and very accurate and targeted uh, treatment. And we said earlier that um, the the technology is minimally invasive, there is no anesthesia, e even uh, no incision. So I think that's good news for cancer patients because with chemo it kind of knocks you down for a couple of weeks just to recover from the chemo treatment. Right, this tool is called a radiosurgical tool mm -hmm. and so we mean radio surgery, meaning radiation as a, uh, a placement for surgery. So in some cases it can be. Now it's a highly dependent type of thing and these type of things need to be discussed uh, with all your physicians to determine whether or not not surgery would be best or particularly this may be best in some cases but where it's really advantageous are in cases where the, the tumor is in a place where really you can't do an operation so they call it inoperable or in other patients which may be too frail for surgery in particular mm -hmm. this is a great thing they can have a treatment it can be you know something that takes about an hour or in some cases a couple days but they're basically home eating dinner with their family and uh, feeling well for the most that's, part. That's great. Well, if you need more information about Austin CyberKnife, it is opening tomorrow. There is a web address, austincyberknife.com at the University Medical Center Brackenridge. We thank you for being here. Thank you. You're welcome.